All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to learn how to model some tree branches. Let's take a look. So these are the type of branches we'll be making today, but the process will give you a lot of control into making whatever branches you like. So yeah, let's jump right in and check this one out. All right, let's start. Go up to your poly modeling shelf and we're going to add a cylinder into the scene. We're gonna use this to make the tree trunk first and then we'll make a branch. Um, press T on the keyboard. It'll bring up this poly cylinder window and let's drop the subdivision axis to six. Six gives us a nice uh, low poly look. Now what I wanna do is extrude this up uh, and I'm gonna do it with a curve. So let's go into our side view, tap your spacebar and hover over the side view uh, panel, tap the spacebar again and we'll go up to the Create tab, and I'm going to choose Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out a section around um, halfway through the tree, and then I'm gonna break a little bit to the side. So I'm um, gonna click here, up to here somewhere, and then around here, I'm gonna go off to the side. If you put down a point you don't like, just press a Delete to delete your last point. When you're done, press Enter. And I'm gonna go with this, keep it nice and simple. And now let's go back to our perspective view, tap the space bar, there we go. And now what we wanna do is, um, let's see here, tree trunk uh, diameter should be fine. What I wanna do is grab the faces at the top here, I'm gonna select the cylinder. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button to go to my marking menu. If you prefer, you can also go from the modeling toolkit over here, you have your component modes. I'm gonna use the mark menu though. Gonna hold down the right mouse button, choose face. And what I wanna do is hover over these top faces. I'm gonna hold down the tab key, do a drag select. And then I'm gonna hold down shift and select my curve. And I'm going to click extrude. Um, Maya will extrude the faces from the start of the curve to the end. We just need to give it some divisions. And I'm gonna make it the probably, uh, six is probably fine. What I wanna do with this now though is um, I want to play with the taper. Now by default, you might not have this taper option. There is a cogwheel button right here, it's kind of hidden. And over here, there's a, um, a bunch of other options you can add. I've just added taper, right? And now what I want to do is just play with the taper a little bit. Um, sometimes the slider moves a little fast, so hold down control to adjust that if you like. Right? I think that looks fine, I'll go with this. Okay, so now let's add um, a branch in. And what I'm going to do is first go back to object mode. Um, we're going to use two faces to make um, an extrusion. And the reason for that is I prefer the large branches if I'm making a tree to have the same subdivisions as the tree trunk itself. So we have six sides and I want the branch to have six sides as well, which means I need two faces. So I'm going to first put a cut somewhere. So let's select our mesh. Um, the multi-cut tool is up here, or you can use the marking menu. Hold down shift and the right mouse button, choose multi-cut. And I'm gonna hold down control and add a cut right about here. Now let's uh, press Q to go back to our select tool. I wanna go into face mode, so I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button, choose face. And then I'm gonna select these two faces. So I'm gonna hold down shift and select that second face. And what I wanna do with this is, I'm going to circularize this. Um, there's a circularize button up here, click on this, and it's done a pretty good job, but you can see that it's pushed in this edge a little bit too much, right? So um, what we can do is um, over here on the alignment, we can change this to maybe the surface average. And that um, did a pretty good job. What we will need to play with next is the radial offset and the twist. So sometimes your um, twist might be off, right? and um, sometimes the radio offset won't need adjustment. So let's hold down Control and Shift, because when you drag this, it drags really fast. And I'm just gonna bring this maybe to here. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's check the twist. Maybe I'll play with the twist a little bit as well. Um, let me just check something. There we go, that's better. There we go. Okay, so now we've uh, circularized that. What I wanna do now is give it an offset. So I'm gonna click Extrude, and I'm going to play with the offset a little bit. 
And then I want to push this out, but you can see that my transform um, arrows are pointing in the world axis, right? So if I pull this way, um, actually it didn't too, do too bad a job. It pulled away from the Z axis, but sometimes I'm just going to undo that. Sometimes you'll want to pull out in the direction th the components are facing. So I'll show you how to do that. So press W to go to your move tool, double click your move um, tool over here and you'll get this window and we just need to change this to component mode. And now you can see the um, transform tool. That red arrow is pointing away from those two faces. So I can pull this out now. And the reason I'm doing this is it gives the tree branch a nicer look that it's kind of growing out a little bit like you see on a lot of trees. So I'm going to pull it out to maybe about here and then I'm going to hit it with another circularize. So click the circularize button and there we go. And now you can um, scale it a bit if you want, um, maybe push it in a bit, but I'm going to go with something like this. I'm going to reset my um, transform tool, the move tool back to, uh, back to world space and then close the window. All right, so now we have this and I want to create another curve to make our first branch, right? This is actually going to be end up being a branch as well. So this section, right? But we're going to make a branch for this. So let's go back to our um, four panel view. So tap the space bar. And this time I'm going to go into the top view. So this one here. And I'm going to grab the create, sorry, grab the curve tools. So go to create curve tool, uh, CV curve tool. Um, sometimes you may want to use the EP curve tool um, if your branches change directions very abruptly, right? But I'm going to go with the, the CV curve tool for this. And what I want to do is find where I um, created that branch section, which is right here. And I'm just going to click here. Something like this is fine. So press enter when you're done. And then I'm going to go back to our perspective view. And here's our branch. So let's move it up. And we can adjust the branch as well. So right now it's coming out pretty far over here. I can hold down the right mouse button to go to control vertex, grab some of these points and just adjust them a little bit. Right. I'm gonna keep it a little bit random. Maybe move some of these um, over this way a little bit and then move this up. We can adjust it some more later, but I'm just going to rough it out a little bit just to give it a look. And then um, this section, I'll move up as well. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll bring this point a little bit higher. And there we go. All right, so now I have this. Let's extrude out this branch section as well. So what we'll do is we'll go back into object mode, select our mesh. And we want these two faces, so go into face mode, hold down the right mouse button, choose face, or your component modes are up here. I'm going to select this face and this one. There we go. And then I'm going to hold down shift, select the curve, and then click extrude. All right. And now we just need to give it some divisions. So let's um, maybe five, five or six is fine. I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with five, and then I'm gonna um, reduce the taper a bit as well. So we have something like this, and I think that looks pretty nice already. And now we have our branch, really easy, and it comes out here. And with this method, what I like about it is it gives you a lot of freedom. So right now um, we have this branch. We can adjust it though. So I'll show you how this works. Let's go open the channel box, and we'll put this mesh on its own layer. So this last icon puts it on its own layer. I'm going to double click the layer. Just going to name this um, tree layer. And click save. And then what I can do with this is I can go um, turn it into a reference, right? You can use template if you want, right? Template allows you to do the same thing, but I prefer um, to use the x-ray mode. So I'm going to turn it into a reference. Then I'm going to turn on X-ray. Reference means I can't select the mesh anymore, but I can select the curve, right? And I can go in here to the control vertices and still move them. And I like moving it this way just because it allows me to see the tree branch better, right? So we can go in here, move this. 
Maybe we'll move it in a bit right? and just shape it out a bit more. We can do the same thing for this one, right? Go into here, grab these ones and play with these a little bit as well, right? Oops. There we go. Something like that and maybe move the top section in a bit, right? All right, so let's say we're happy with this. I'm going to uh, turn off X-Ray, and then over here, I'm going to click the R, so it's back to regular layer. And what I want to do is some trees, um, they fork a bit, right? Sometimes they split into two, into like multiple parts, like more than three even. And what, we, what I want to show you is how to fork this tree. So um, to do that, we're going to need two faces, right? And what I want to do this time is I want to take this face and divide it into two. And then we'll extrude upwards. So select this face. What I'm going to do is, actually don't select the face. Um, first go into object mode. We're going to put a cut here first because we need the two faces, right? So we'll go to our multi-cut tool, hold down control, add a cut right here. And then I'm going to go and use these two faces. Um, by the way, I just held down the right mouse button to go to my component mode, right? And then what I want to do is select this face and this one, and I'm going to circularize it. So click uh, circularize, this button here. Looks good. Let's play with that alignment. So let's change this to uh, surface average. And you can see that it's really cut in there, but at least it's respecting this edge now, right? And we can play with the um, radial offset a bit probably. I think that looks pretty good. We can probably go a bit more even. Maybe to about right where it changes. It's right here. And do I need to play with the twist? Probably a little bit. So let's try it. There we go. All right. So now with this section, what I want to do is uh, extrude it upwards. So first, let's open up our, our modeling toolkit. I'm going to click the extrude button to create an offset first. And then I want to uh, push it out. So in this case, I could probably just drag this arrow out to here. And I'm going to, um, let's see here, is that going to be enough? Um, I'm going to click circularize again, just check. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. I think that should be okay. I'm going to rotate this though, so that it's moving up a little bit to here. Okay, I think that'll work. And now let's um, extrude this section up. So we're going to need another curve. So let's uh, go into the side view this time. And let's create another curve. So create curve tools, CV curve tool. And I'm just going to click on a few points here. up here somewhere. Click enter when you're done, and we have this. So I'm going to tap the space bar, go back to my perspective view. Um, we adjusted the curve to give it a bit of a, a change in direction this way. This way it's still straight, but I'm going to show you later that we can still adjust this because ch um, to change this it's so mi minor that we can do it later with a different tool, which I'll show you in a second. All right, so we have this. Let's select our mesh. Um, we're going to grab these two faces, um, grab your curve, so hold down shift, select the curve as well. And now let's extrude that. So click your extrude button. Um, we'll give it a few divisions, probably not very many, probably four is probably good for this one. And then play with the taper. And I'm probably gonna go with something like this. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Um, we can adjust it later, so I'll, sh I'll show you. I was going to say this section's a little bit thick, but I'm going to show you how we can fix that later as well. Okay, so now we have our tree, and it looks pretty good. You know, the, the branch looks like it's moving randomly enough, feels organic, um, but we can make it even better. So um, let's select this. We'll open up the um, outliner, and over here we have, um, let me open up the channel box as well. We have a bunch of history. I don't really need it anymore. So once you've gotten um, adjusted your curve points to roughly the shape you want, we can just delete this history. 
and then now we can delete these curves. There we go. And now what I want to do with this is I'm going to select it and I'm going to go up to the deform tab and I'm going to give it the soft modification tool. So let's open up this option box. Just going to reset this. And something I like to do is I like to turn on preserve history. It saves our tool handles. So click soft modification. And how this works is you'll click on somewhere in your mesh and then it adds this soft modification handle and you can control the fall off by holding down B on the keyboard, right? And with this, we can still move our mesh, right? We can um, rotate it, scale it. And what we can do now is just um, change it and make it a bit more organic. And what I like to do is sometimes you'll have like these edges and they come up, they're pretty straight across. What I like to do is click on somewhere on here. So over here is the last tool we use. This is the soft modification tool. I'll click on there. Maybe I'll reduce the fall off a little bit. And then I'll move some of these edges just to give it a bit more of an organic look. Right. It just changes it. And over here where I thought it was a little bit thick, I can click on here and I can even scale that down. So a couple ways to scale this. If you have your tool, you can just press R on the keyboard to go into your scale tool, or you can click this uh, box, and then you just can scale with the middle section, right? And we can click on some of these points and scale them down, right? There we go. And just like that, it's I fixed that area that I wanted to, and then we can even uh, move entire section. So if I click on a, this point here, right, maybe increase the fall off a bit, I can move this. So you have a lot of freedom to still um, change your mesh afterwards and make it a bit more organic. You were still keeping it the low poly look, but really like what, as a, a viewer and a player, they'll pick up on those extra details, right? So this section, for example, I want to move it in. I could essentially click here, um, maybe over here and move this in a little bit first. And I can maybe increase the fall off a bit here and move this section in. So there we go. And yeah, here is our tree. Um, let's just say we're happy with this so the tutorial doesn't get too long and keep playing with it because I would play with this for quite a bit, right? I'm going to select it and I have all this um, history and from the soft modification handles. By the way, you can click on these handles to get to them as well and you can move multiple handles at once, right? But let's select our mesh. What I'll do is I'll delete the history and let's give it a bit of a color. So um, before I forget though, uh, something to keep in mind is um, you'll want to delete any faces you don't see. So um, if this tree was bare, I would leave the faces at the tip of these branches there, right? Um, but if it had foliage and it was covering any areas, make sure you delete that extra geometry and, this, and the bottom geometry as well. So the bottom face, these ones. Um, so what I'm going to do is select this mesh. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, choose Assign New Material. Just going to give it a Lambert. And I'm just going to give it maybe like a, a light brown color or beige color. So probably something like this is fine. And now let's take a look. So here is our low poly tree. I'll turn off wireframe on shaded. Looks pretty good. Let's select it. Let's harden these edges. So mesh display, harden edge. Um, you can see that for a second there, if I go into edge mode, um, I'm still in soft selection. So I'm going to press B on the keyboard just to turn that off. There we go. All right, so let's do a quick recap of what we covered today. We learned to extrude the branches using curves, how to give them a bit of extra form with the circularized feature, how to modify the curve points to get our initial shape, and then finally, how to use the soft modification tool to add some finishing touches. All right, and that's how you model some low poly branches in Maya. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you in the next one. This has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art. <laughs>